Don't believe this love myth. Many people are captivated by the idea of love at first sight, an instant, magical connection that promises everlasting happiness. But is it really love, or just a fleeting spark? If you've ever felt the rush of infatuation and wondered if it's the real deal, you're not alone. The truth about love is far deeper and more complex than Hollywood fairy tales would have you believe. In this video, we'll unravel the myths surrounding love, explore the fine line between attraction and obsession, and show you how to build relationships that stand the test of time. From the importance of self-respect to choosing a partner beyond physical beauty, and even lessons from the timeless stoic love story of Marcus Aurelius and Faustina, get ready to transform your understanding of love and relationships. Number 1. The myth of love at first sight, nurturing true love. In a world of fairy tales and blockbuster romances, the idea of love at first sight seems almost magical. It's a scene we've all been captivated by. The accidental gaze across a crowded room, the instant connection, and the overwhelming belief that this person is the one. It's exhilarating to imagine such a perfect moment, a spark so profound it feels destined. But as romantic as it sounds, have you ever stopped to wonder if love could truly work that way? The notion of love at first sight is a cultural phenomenon perpetuated by stories, movies and media. It gives us hope and paints relationships as effortless, yet real life seldom aligns with such fantasies. The truth is, love at first sight is often rooted in physical attraction and emotional impulsivity. Imagine meeting someone who captivates your attention with their smile or charm. It's thrilling, no doubt, but is that enough to build a connection that withstands the trials of time and life? Think back to your teenage years. Do you remember your first crush? Maybe it was a classmate who had an incredible laugh, or someone who seemed to understand you in a way no one else could. At the time, those feelings seemed like the truest form of love, but as the years passed, those memories became a bittersweet reminder of how fleeting initial attraction can be. Nostalgia whispers to us, asking if those sparks were ever meant to last. Stoicism teaches us to question what is fleeting and what is enduring. It challenges us to look past the glitter of first impressions and into the depth of what truly matters. In love, this means focusing not on the instant gratification of infatuation, but on the steady, intentional effort of building a meaningful relationship. Consider this, what happens after the first glance? After the excitement fades, what remains? The answer lies in nurturing love like a garden. It takes time, effort and care to grow something worthwhile. True love isn't a momentary burst of emotion. It's a choice made repeatedly over time. You cultivate it through trust, loyalty and shared values, not through fleeting attraction. Doesn't that idea make you curious about what could happen if you approached relationships with patience and intention? Number two, distinguishing true love from obsession and attraction. Picture this, you've just met someone new. The chemistry is undeniable, and every moment with them feels like magic. You can't stop thinking about them, and every notification on your phone gives you a rush of adrenaline. It's intoxicating, like nothing else matters in the world. But is this love, or is it something else entirely? It's easy to mistake obsession or physical attraction for love. They create powerful emotions, often leaving us unable to focus on anything else. This might feel exhilarating at first, but when these feelings take over, they can cloud our judgment and lead us into situations that aren't healthy. How many times have you heard someone say, I don't know why I stayed in that relationship for so long, only to realize later that they confused passion for connection? Think of a time when you were infatuated with someone. Maybe it was a celebrity you idolized or someone in your life who seemed perfect. Those emotions were intense, weren't they? But as time passed, you began to see things more clearly. 
Nostalgia often brings us back to those moments with a tinge of embarrassment, reminding us of how easily we can lose ourselves in fleeting feelings. Stoicism encourages us to separate what is within our control from what is not. In relationships, this means distinguishing between genuine love and unhealthy attachments. True love is grounded in mutual respect, understanding, and a shared commitment to growth. It's about valuing someone for who they are, not just for how they make you feel in a moment of passion. Ask yourself, how often do we sacrifice our self-respect, chasing after someone who doesn't reciprocate our feelings? Isn't it fascinating how quickly obsession can take over, leading us to compromise our own worth? By understanding the difference between love, attraction and obsession, we can approach relationships with clarity and wisdom. Doesn't that make you wonder how much better our connections could be if we focused on what truly matters? Number three, self-respect and letting go in unhealthy relationships. At the heart of every relationship lies a simple truth. You cannot truly love someone else if you do not first respect and love yourself. Imagine waking up each day feeling secure in who you are knowing that you deserve kindness, respect, and happiness. It's a beautiful thought, isn't it? But how often do we find ourselves staying in relationships that make us feel small or unworthy? Unhealthy relationships often start subtly. Maybe it's a dismissive comment, a lack of effort, or a feeling that you're always giving more than you're receiving. Over time, these small moments pile up, leaving you drained and questioning your own worth. It's painful to confront the reality that someone you care about might not care for you in the same way. But why do we stay? Think about a time when you clung to a relationship despite knowing it wasn't good for you. Perhaps it was out of fear of being alone or the hope that things would change. Those memories can be bittersweet, filled with moments of longing and regret. Nostalgia reminds us of the strength it took to walk away, or the pain of not doing so sooner. Stoicism teaches us to accept what we cannot control. You cannot change someone who doesn't want to change, nor can you force them to value you the way you deserve. Letting go is never easy, but it's often the most loving act you can do for yourself. It's a way of preserving your self-worth and opening the door to healthier, more fulfilling connections. Isn't it intriguing how much strength it takes to prioritize yourself? To say, I deserve better and to mean it. When you let go of what isn't right for you, you create space for something better. You give yourself the opportunity to heal, grow, and find a relationship that uplifts and inspires you. Doesn't that make you wonder what could be waiting for you on the other side of letting go? Number four, choosing a partner. Beyond physical beauty, physical beauty often captivates us in ways that feel magical and transformative. A smile, a glance, or an elegant demeanor can create a sense of instant connection, sparking excitement and curiosity. It's no wonder that physical attraction is celebrated across cultures as a gateway to romance. But while beauty is undeniably compelling, it's also fleeting and ultimately insufficient as the foundation for a lasting relationship. True connection demands more than surface-level attraction. It calls for depth, shared values, and a bond that endures life's trials. In today's world, media and popular culture glorify physical appearance, often making it seem like the ultimate measure of desirability. From glossy magazine covers to social media feeds, we're inundated with images of people who embody society's current standards of beauty. These portrayals, while aesthetically pleasing, can distort our understanding of what truly matters in a relationship. The emphasis on external allure can lead to shallow connections where the focus remains on maintaining appearances rather than nurturing emotional and intellectual intimacy. At the heart of a meaningful relationship lies the ability to connect on a deeper level. It's about recognizing the qualities in another person that complement your own, 
and foster mutual growth. Intelligence, kindness, humor, and resilience. These are the attributes that withstand the passage of time. A partner who can challenge your thinking, support your dreams, and weather life's storms with you is far more valuable than one who merely fits a visual ideal. While physical attraction may ignite a relationship, it's the emotional and intellectual bond that sustains it through the years. Consider the impermanence of physical beauty. Youthful looks inevitably fade and societal standards of beauty evolve over time. A relationship founded solely on physical attraction may falter as these changes occur. What happens when the partner you admired for their outward appearance begins to age or changes due to life circumstances? If the connection lacks deeper roots, the relationship may struggle to survive. However, when love is built on shared values, respect and mutual understanding, it remains steadfast, unshaken by the superficial changes that come with time. A stoic approach to choosing a partner emphasizes looking beyond appearances to the character and virtues of the person. Stoicism teaches us to value what lies within, the moral fiber, the intellect, and the capacity for growth. A partner who embodies these qualities not only enriches your life, but also stands by you in moments of hardship. They become your confidant, your ally, and your inspiration providing a sense of stability and purpose that transcends the fleeting allure of physical beauty. Reflecting on personal experiences, many people can recall moments when they prioritized appearance over substance, only to find the relationship lacking in depth. Perhaps you've experienced the disappointment of realizing that someone who initially seemed perfect lacked the qualities necessary for a fulfilling partnership. These moments, though painful, serve as valuable lessons. They teach us to look beyond the surface and seek connections that are meaningful and enduring. In contrast, relationships built on shared values and genuine compatibility offer a profound sense of fulfillment. Imagine a partnership where you feel truly seen and understood, where your partner celebrates your strengths and supports your growth. Such a relationship fosters a sense of belonging and security, allowing both individuals to thrive. It's not about finding someone perfect by societal standards, but about discovering a person whose imperfections complement your own. Stoicism reminds us to focus on what is within our control. While we cannot dictate another person's appearance or conform to societal expectations, we can choose to prioritize qualities that align with our values. By seeking a partner who shares your vision for life and possesses the virtues you admire, you create the foundation for a relationship that endures. This approach not only enhances your chances of finding lasting love, but also enriches your personal journey as it encourages self-awareness and growth. Ultimately, choosing a partner beyond physical beauty is an act of wisdom and self-respect. It reflects a commitment to valuing what truly matters and investing in a connection that transcends the superficial. By embracing this perspective, you free yourself from the constraints of societal expectations and open the door to a partnership that brings genuine joy and fulfillment. It's a reminder that true beauty lies not in the eye of the beholder, but in the depth of the heart and soul. Number five, the stoic example of Marcus Aurelius and Faustina. The relationship between Marcus Aurelius and Faustina offers a timeless example of stoic love, grounded in mutual respect, shared values, and unwavering commitment. Their union, though not without challenges, exemplifies the principles of Stoicism applied to the complexities of a partnership. It's a story of resilience, loyalty, and the enduring power of virtue, offering insights that remain relevant for modern relationships. Marcus Aurelius, one of history's most revered philosophers and emperors, was known for his Stoic wisdom and moral character. His marriage to Faustina the Younger the daughter of Emperor Antoninus Pius, 
was more than a political alliance. It was a partnership rooted in shared ideals and mutual support. Despite their high-profile roles and the pressures of ruling the Roman Empire, Marcus and Faustina cultivated a relationship that reflected the stoic virtues of courage, justice, temperance, and wisdom. Their marriage was not without its difficulties. Historical accounts suggest that Faustina faced accusations of infidelity, rumors that could have easily destroyed their union. Yet Marcus Aurelius remained steadfast in his love and trust for her, embodying the stoic principle of focusing on what is within one's control. Rather than succumbing to gossip and suspicion, he chose to uphold his commitment to Faustina, demonstrating moral courage and loyalty. This decision not only preserved their marriage, but also reinforced the stoic belief in acting according to virtue, regardless of external circumstances. The bond between Marcus and Faustina was also marked by shared resilience in the face of adversity. As emperor, Marcus Aurelius grappled with immense challenges, including wars, plagues, and the loss of several children. Through these hardships, Faustina stood by his side, offering comfort and support. Their partnership served as a source of strength, enabling them to navigate the trials of their lives with composure and grace. This mutual reliance reflects the stoic ideal of finding solace and stability in a relationship built on trust and shared purpose. One of the most remarkable aspects of their relationship was their ability to balance their public roles with their private connection. As rulers, they bore the weight of the empire on their shoulders, yet they remained committed to nurturing their bond. Letters and historical records reveal moments of tenderness and affection between them, highlighting the human side of their partnership. These glimpses into their lives remind us that even in positions of great power, the foundation of a strong relationship lies in genuine care and understanding. The love between Marcus Aurelius and Faustina was not based on fleeting emotions or superficial attractions. Instead, it was grounded in the virtues they cherished and practiced. Their relationship exemplified the stoic belief that love is not merely a feeling, but a deliberate choice, a commitment to act with kindness, patience, and integrity. This perspective challenges modern notions of love as a purely emotional experience, emphasizing the importance of virtue and intentionality in building a lasting partnership. For those seeking to apply Stoic principles to their own relationships, the example of Marcus and Faustina offers valuable lessons. It encourages us to prioritize character over appearance, to practice patience and forgiveness, and to remain steadfast in our commitments. It also reminds us of the importance of resilience, both individually and as a couple, in overcoming life's challenges. Reflecting on the legacy of Marcus Aurelius and Faustina, we are reminded that true love is not without its trials. It demands effort, sacrifice, and a willingness to grow together. Yet it is precisely through these challenges that love is strengthened and refined. Their story serves as an enduring testament to the power of virtue and the resilience of the human spirit, inspiring us to seek relationships that are both meaningful and enduring. Love, at its core, is not about grand gestures or fleeting moments, but about building something enduring, rooted in mutual respect, understanding, and shared virtues. As we've uncovered through Stoic wisdom, the path to deep, meaningful relationships begins with self-awareness and choosing partners who align with our values. Remember, the foundation of true love is effort, trust, and a willingness to grow together through life's trials and triumphs. If you've made it to this point, drop a hundred in the comments this shows that you're part of the rare few who commit to learning and growth. If you're serious about transforming your life and relationships, don't miss out. Subscribe to our channel and join a community dedicated to wisdom and self-mastery. Together, we can unlock the principles that lead to a fulfilling life.